Good evening, everyone. Today is still Tuesday, January the 9th, 2024. And I'm back with another one. Another email question from bigward at myyahoo.com. Any questions, topics you would like me to discuss, any problem you may have you need an answer to, holler at your boy. This here is just kind of tricky here. A man said he's 29 years old with two kids and one on the way. And uh, he and his kids share an apartment with the woman who he has another child on the way with, right? So he got two kids already as a single father. He's in a relationship with a woman. They live together in an apartment, both names on the lease. Um, they got a, a baby on the way between them two. So that'll be three kids he'll have, two already, one from the woman he's with that he's writing me about. And uh, she got, she also has a daughter that she brought in and a 12-year-old sister. And he was like, you know, so they have, and over the last three years, built a, you know, a big happy home, right? But the problem now is that the relationship is declining. And uh, it, it stemmed from her, like a lot of modern women nowadays, I tell you guys all the time, if you ain't got an old fashioned, old school woman, do not get in a relationship with her. Like he done got in a relationship with a boss bitch, but ain't got nothing to qualify for being a boss bitch. Let me get into it. Hold on, y'all. Yeah, so she, uh, she, he says she tries to run shit tell him what to do, she's arrogant, and then she never listened to him, sound familiar, tried to run him, have him cooking, cleaning, doing the laundry, while she sits around with her feet kicked up, and then anytime she do anything for him, like helping him with his kids, she complains, saying she ain't signed up for this, you know, having his kids with them. She ain't signed up for that. So she complained when it comes to doing anything for him or helping him with his kids. I ain't signed up for this. But yet, she brought in a child that he had to deal with and her sister that he got to deal with. But she don't want to help him. Hold on. So, anything that comes to do with helping him and his kids she complains about it. But he run around there cooking, cleaning, doing the laundry, him or her with her daughter and, and, and whatever else going on. She sit back, her feet kicked up. Like his boss. And uh, he said he's, uh, he don't cheat, don't run the street, go to work, gym, home. He said his, his, he knows it pretty much his fault because he came in taking care of a dorm for her, pretty much spoiled her, and he missed out on a lot of opportunities from putting her first. And I say that all the time. I talk about that all the time. But anyway, we go we go get into it. And uh, it's hard because he says the only home his kids know. So basically, he wanted to know like, what can he do about this situation, about this woman that's treating him like shit, even though from what he's describing, I'm just, taking, I'm just going by what he's saying. I don't know both sides or what, how, I'm going by what he's saying. He sent the email, not her. So, sounds like he's a good man with an ungrateful, modern woman treating them like shit. What should he do? You, you call the right one. So here you go. Let me go in. The only power that a man has in a relationship or marriage when it comes to a woman. We might think, you know, it's a man's world, blah, blah, blah. We got, we got power. We powerful. 
we only have one power in that relationship. It don't, you can yell all you want to, scream all you want to, fuss all you want to. If you want to know we got to do like to beat women, thinking that's going to change something, that ain't changing shit. You can cuss her out, make threats, yell at the top of your lungs. You ain't got no power. But there's one thing. You can go to counseling with her. Nothing. It don't matter what you do when you got a woman that's setting her ways like that, that's uh, just, just been on being a bitch. I ain't acting right. Taking you for granted. Ungrateful. Don't appreciate you. They never satisfied. You only you have one power to deal with that. And that for all men, no exception. The only power, we it ain't our money, it ain't none of that. The only power we got as a man in a relationship dealing with a woman because everything in this system is set up and designed for them. Only thing we can do to get some get right, to get her to get her mind right, walk away. The power and the ability and the willingness to walk away, drop everything and walk the fuck away. I, in other words, I don't give a damn what we got going on here. My respect is top priority. Damn, big wall, you gonna leave the baby on the way? Yes. It happens every day. How many times do people get divorces and have to share custody with the kids? Whether the newborn, eight year old, 12 year old, whatever, it happens every day in divorce court where people get divorces and have to share custody with the kids. They're not the same household. Happens every day. I made the mistake of putting up with a lot of unnecessary shit that belittled me, uh, tore down my self-esteem, my self-respect and everything just because I didn't want to leave the house with my son. Should have been gone, but I held on too long because I didn't want to be in a separate household with my son. The relationship, the marriage was dead, over. But I'm hanging on in now. She making it known she don't want this shit no more. I'm talking about, I'm taking all kind of shit. Not that she's a bad woman, I'm not putting her down. The fact she was done. I wouldn't leave, I wouldn't let go. Not because I was just so in love and weak. I didn't want to leave my son. Don't stay in a bad situation, man. Being mistreated and dog died disrespected all for the sake of the kid. That goes for women too, but I'm, it's a man that wrote this. A lot of women, a lot of people, a lot of men, people in marriages and relationships stay together for the kids. Big mistake. Man or woman. But we talking about men right now because men ain't got as much uh, say so or power in relationships nowadays because of the court system. And the way the system designed it, 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 it geared towards the benefit of the woman. So men, the only power we got when it comes to dealing with these modern, Americanized, Western women is the ability and the willingness to say, you know what, F you, I'm out. You can have it all, damn the apartment, the house, you can have all this shit. I walked away. You can have it all, I don't want none of it. Your dignity and self-respect is way more valuable than any of that shit. Go put yourself in the court system to deal with the baby that y'all about to have. Walk the fuck away. If you can't do that, ain't no need to write me or nobody else. I ain't shit gonna change. It, well, yes it is, it's gonna change. It's gonna get worse. That was gonna change, hold on y'all. Yep, it's gonna get worse. Do not stay in a fucked up situation in a relationship or marriage for the sake of the kid. Cause really you're gonna end up doing more damage and harm to the kids than you are good. Because as time go on, especially when she had that baby, 
she gonna she gonna get even worse because now she gonna use the baby as a pawn against you to treat you even worse because in her mind she gonna be thinking, shit, I, I know I got him now because he don't wanna leave this baby. So you think she's treating you bad now? Wait till that baby get here. If that woman see that you ain't willing to walk the hell away from her and leave her ass right there where she's staying, oh, you ain't for a world of hurt, my boy. And as I said previously, if you don't want to leave for the kids because of the kids, really you need to leave because of the kids because you don't want your kids witnessing the abuse you going through and finna go through. You don't want your kids seeing you let somebody do you like that. No matter who it is, you don't want your kid, as a man, you don't want your kids to see you being disrespected. Because what's going to happen is when they get grown, they're going to disrespect you. They ain't going to have the respect for you. Walk away. I ain't saying, you, by walking away from that house, leaving that woman, you ain't leaving your kids, you're leaving her. You got to leave that bro. Don't play with her. Don't let her play with you. Leave her ass where she stands and just take care of your responsibility toward them kids. Fuck her. You gonna learn today, little mama. Fuck around and find out, as they say. Try that shit with me now. Don't, don't, look, man, fellas, the only power you got, bro. Don't sit there arguing with no woman. Don't ask her to change. Don't ask her to stop. Please don't do that no more. I thought you loved me. Why you treat me like this? Good as I've been to you. I don't want to hear none of that shit. When her ass come home from the grocery store, where the hell she been, I want your shit gone. Get you. If you ain't able to go right now, make plans, prepare someone for you and your kids to go. And then go down to the court system and get set up to take care of the baby that's on the way. Put them white folks in the way you have visitation and, and, and shit like that. Don't let your kids be in that toxic environment trying to hold on to a goddamn relationship with an ungrateful, unappreciative ass woman. Let that let her ass go and be out here with these losers out here. Guess who's gonna be getting a knock on the door, a ring on the phone real soon when you let her ass go? You. Sometimes we don't miss our water till the well run dry. Release our hand to the wolves. Unleash the Kraken. <laughs> Send her back out here with these wolves. Cause she don't know what she got in you. You gotta show her what she got. By taking it from her. Get ghost, my friend. Get ghost. That's the only power man got to make some changes in his relationship. We can't argue our way into a chain. We can't fuss our way into a chain. We can't scream, cuss, physically abuse, mentally abuse. We can't do none of that shit to get no woman that's acting our ass to act right. Leave. No questions asked. I remember growing up when I was a young boy, them old men where I grew up from, back in the day, they didn't play that shit for no woman, boy. And they women didn't act up. Them old men back in the days, them 38 special, totally old men, revolvers, sitting up there under the tree playing domino, them old men, they ain't play that shit with, from no goddamn woman. And that's what I grew up seeing. Woman, what them, them I, I look around when them old men were leaving, moving on. Wait, 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 where Johnny going? Oh, he left me in Cobra. About a week later in the Cobra, that bitch crying like a motherfucker trying to get Johnny to come back. Them old men ain't play that shit. And we ain't gonna play it. I'm teaching you, the new generation, whoever listens to me, what I learned from the old school. When men were men. Hold on. I'm telling you now, it works. Even if she don't change, so what? You ain't there to put up with that shit. Let's, let somebody else do it, as they say. Get somebody else to do it. Let some other dude deal with that attitude. You ain't dealing with it. Take care of your kid, that's all you worry about. Don't worry about her. There's plenty of women out here, player, waiting on you. Boy, you cold, big boy. What about the baby? It's for the baby, too. 
You don't want to bring a baby into no situation like that where, where, where the daddy getting mistreated? How effective are you going to be when your mind always fucked up because of how your woman treats you? Leave. Like, ain't, ain't no great, extravagant, 10 point plan of how to fix the situation. No, ain't none of that. One thing we got in our favor. The ability to leave. You can't do that, you're in a world of hurt when it comes to dealing with a woman. Ability of women out there. You ain't got the power to walk away from a woman. When she gets to act, I ain't talking about leaving every time you get mad. I'm talking about when she doing you like how she doing you. She, she deserves to be left. That's it, that's all. Get the hell on. And it, it really applies to anybody, not just your relationship, but anybody that's mistreating you, treating you bad. Leave their ass. Don't fuck with them no more. So, what about the lease? What about it? People fall, you know, that, that's material shit. We talking about this up here. Your, your, your sanity, your, your, your mental well-being, your dignity, respect. We talking about that. That's more important than at least any of that shit. Leave that woman, bro. Nine times out of ten, when she see you dead serious, feeling like how good you say you been to her, you ain't going to be gone long. She'll get her mind right, I promise you. But if she don't, so what? Stay gone. But I'm, I'm looking to bed though. You'll be writing me back later and say, man, you know, she, she started acting right when I left. I wasn't gone in a week, she'll call me. But until she see that, she gonna get worse, bro. Better when that baby comes, you talking about not leaving. You gonna eventually leave anyway. She gonna, for, ain't, ain't no way you gonna be able to continue for years to deal with that. You gonna eventually leave anyway. So, now we're gone nipping in the bud now. Maybe later on it'll help it get better later. It might get greater later. If you man up right now and do what a man's supposed to do when he being mistreated by a woman or anybody. Get them out your life. Get it. Got it. Good.